Welcome to another Fitech q and I'm Bryce, and in front of me, I got a list of questions from you guys on the internet. First one that we got here is from a Marlo McMillan 8937. And he asks, can I use Fitech with Autometer? So Fitech has implemented CAN bus communication so certain autometer gauges like the ICANN series will work with the Fitech EFI systems. The way that it ultimately works is the plug-in from the EFI system to the handheld. There's a, an adapter harness that you can get directly through us and then it plugs into the ICANN gauges and you can display uh, things like RPM, speed, coolant temperature, and a few others. Uh, just to throw it out there too, uh, the systems will also communicate with Dakota Digital if that's uh, something that you have. The next question that we have is from Phil H9238 saying, why does nobody include Mopar? You just have Ford and Chevy. Um, I have a 1970 Dart 34069 Charger 440. This was on our GoSpark uh, ignition. Uh, components and distributors video. Uh, for you, Phil, we have just now released additional distributors out there. We now carry them for uh, certain Mopar applications, as well as bringing out stuff for Oldmobile, Cadillac, Pontiac, and the line's gonna keep uh, getting bigger and bigger. It's just what we initially came out with, but now we're branching out and providing even more. Um, just to throw it out there too, we also have our computer controlled GM distributors out as well. Uh, the next question that I have is Thomas Horgan5554. You don't show actual blue wire tack routing to a coil. Do I have to run the Phytech controller wire through the firewall separate from all the other wires, a new hole, uh, the grommet, or can I run into the cab engine harness, uh, also trying to shield the blue wire. Okay, as far as wire routing goes, you have the option, it looks like he's trying to run the Phytech controller through the firewall, and if he can go through a hole with other wires or not. Um, generally speaking, it's perfectly fine to run the, the handheld controller cable through with other wires. Um, the only wire that I would generally avoid is if you have like a coil underneath the dash and then you have it running uh, a coil wire through the firewall to the engine, to your distributor. I would avoid putting anything, I mean either other wires even, through that hole. But if you just have a main harness, like a main harness where your headlights go through, electric fans, turn signals, what have you, you could run the handheld controller wire through that, but I would always try to run the TAC blue wire in a separate location by itself. Um, chances are that you would be okay going through like headlights and turn signals and whatnot, but if you have something like an electric fan trigger going through it, if you have AC voltage traveling back through that wire like an electric fan can produce, then you could run into some electrical noise. Uh, the next one that I got here is um, Anthony Barron, and he's asking, will the Phytech Ultimate LS EFI systems work with a 700, 700 R4 transmission, or do I need a TCM? Uh, the answer to that one is the Ultimate LS systems will work with that transmission. That is not a computer controlled transmission. There is a kick down cable. We don't specifically carry any kind of brackets for that, but what I've seen people do is they modify the linkage arm on the side of the throttle body and they'll just um, drill a hole, tap a hole to put a ball on it on the bottom edge of that uh, throttle arm. So when you pull the throttle, it pulls the TV cable out. Um, I've seen on a couple of forums people making brackets and where to locate that um, ball, but um, we don't specifically have anything directly there, but it has been done and it's been done successfully. Uh, this isn't something that's going to be specific to an Ultimate LS. I've seen people put 700R4 transmissions behind uh, the LS engine running on like an OEM factory computer as well. So it's just a matter of getting that TV cable hooked up properly. 
Uh, next up, we got Scott Sterling, 2469. And he's asking, I've got your force fuel uh, system 50,004 on my truck for four years now. Uh, it's been running great. The last month noticed that it started to have a loud ca um, cavitating noise. Not sure what that is. It's still running 60 PSI. What should I look into and possibly fix? So being that that force fuel has been on your vehicle for four years, the one thing that I would probably recommend checking first is taking the lid off of the force fuel. It's just held on by six bolts. And if you pull it up, the force fuel should, for one, be full of fuel, but there's an in-tank pump inside with a tank sock, uh, pump sock at the bottom. If that pump sock is clogged, it can be cavitating due to the, uh, the filter sucking up to the bottom of the pump. Another thing that you may notice is that the force fuel is not full all the way, which then would make you want to look into whatever pump you're using to transfer fuel to the force fuel whether that's the mechanical pump or if you're using another small electric pump. And if you got a filter in line there, that filter may be clogged, which is preventing flow or adequate enough flow to the force fuel system. Juan Rivas dash HT seven CZ saying, I recently installed the 70,050, the ultimate LS with a light cam turbo 350 trans. I'm following the initial setup on the videos as much as possible. Question is, how to adjust IAC on cable throttle body. Mine jumps between zero and one at an idle. Also, once at operating temp, the engine stalls when I accelerate. Any ideas, appreciate any help possible. Um, to tackle the first one, uh, engine stalls as you accelerate. The first thing that I would check is probably fuel pressure. Um, being that you're running just the standalone harness, these kits are designed to run 58 PSI. So if you're running uh, inadequate fuel pressure when you step on the throttle, fuel pressure drops out and disappears all the way. So that would be the first one that I would look there. The next one being the IAC steps. Uh, if you look at our tech videos, episode 61, we have a video specifically on how to set the IAC steps on a LS system with a throttle cable driven uh, throttle body. So that would conclude all the questions that we have today with the Q&A. Uh, please stick around and check out some more Q&As that we'll have in the future. If you guys have questions, definitely ask them again down in the comments and maybe we'll pick one of your questions and we'll answer them live on one of these videos.